What do grape growers do? Actually, I like school. My students love to learn. Most of the time. <laughs> pineapples, dried pineapples, bananas, dried bananas, cherries, dried cherries, peaches, dried peaches, grapes, raisins. What about plums? They turn into prunes, don't they? Just broken again. Can't have eggs without toast. Spick and span. Bummer. Same here. Not good, Lammy. Something's gotta give. Can't continue to live this way, Lammy. Yeah, like how long has that been there? Maybe we should change our line of work. Something, you know, like growing, oh, I don't know, say, grapes? How about we grow money instead? <laughs> you got great ideas, Matilda. Money grows on trees, don't it? How should I know, Lammy? Do we have to concern ourselves? Mm, maybe we better stick to grapes. And grapes can be turned into raisins like this thing wants to be down here. And that would give us a double yield. We'd never be hungry again, Matilda. You know, that's some smart thinking you got going there, Lammy. How about we walk over to the public library right now and start researching? <laughs> you do have great ideas. You do! Stravinsky caused a riot, returned the very next year, and was treated like a god. Fifteen years later, Disney was seen kissing his feet. It's different this time. I've combined both light and sound. Come in. You again? Sorry, gotta go. This is it. The next big thing. We're talking Ooh. again. It's different this time. I've combined both light and sound with my new... You're fired! I want my Nobel Prize. I want my Nobel Prize. The greatest man alive am I. I want my Nobel Prize. It's differently this time. It's differently this time. I've truly true combined both light and sound inside again. My new invention. My photosynthesizer turns the light to sound on sound to light with every good intention. Proven biomethematically. Reversing trails of magnetically. For the no. no, you're not fired. You're reduced. Reduced to bookworm fumigator. That's correct. You heard me. Bookworm fumigator. In our very public private library. Ouch. I sure hope the library's got something about growing grapes, man. I'm hungry. Oh, wow. So many books to choose from. Huh. Looks like we've got the place Here's for ourselves. Here's one on grapes, Lammy. Check this out. Oh, and that's where we should mm -hmm. live. These could flourish. Yeah, that species would make Watch a lot of money. Yeah. Just a little effort. And yeah, we could try that out. Mm -hmm. You could get a hole. Mm, and I could water. Who's that? I thought you said we had the place to ourselves. I thought we did. Ah, the butterfly effect. Wow. I wonder if he works here. The snowball effect. Maybe he's a librarian. Yeah. Great. Domino effect. 
cooperative neighbors. This is gonna be good. The Raisin Effect. The culmination of facts. Prophetic information absorbed through the tissue of the grape over the course of its lifetime. The growing season. A revelation takes place as the grape dries into its dried form. The raisin. Through various special techniques and microscopic language processes, these wrinkling, crinkling, sinking, linking lines might very well be interpreted and understood to then provoke greater and deeper worldly understanding of what's to come for those who live in the area in which the grapes were grown. Oh, the bookworms, they're not lazy. They're eating wow, that those. nerd's clearly a cornball, but hey, concept of growing grapes primarily for the purpose of creating raisins? <laughs> Hello. Hello there. I saw you coming up the walk. How much do you charge per glass? Can't you read? Nice. We'll take two, please. Hmm. Tastes good. Where do you get this stuff? From my grandpa's orchard. Has he considered drying the lemons first, I wonder? I'll bet that vitamin C concentration would pack a real wallop. I don't know. We plan on growing grapes, yeah. Turn them into raisins. Learn how to read between their lines. Really? Read? Why? Predict the future. Yep. Our highest hopes. Learn how to solve all the world's problems. Does that kind of thing really work? Why not? Magic cards foretell the stars. Why not grapes? If magic cards foretell the stars, why not grapes? Darjeeling leaves and palmistry could never quite complete. Tree rings that grow in all the land, historians try understand. The wrinkling, crinkling raisin brand has so much more to say. The magic wand turns round and round, why not grapes? Schumann's baton on his best day could never orchestrate. By day, by night, and all week long, for telling us what's yet to come, month after month, and all year round, and round, and round, and round, and round, go yours. If a crystal ball reveals it all, why not grapes? As weather vanes and compasses appear to point the way. By day, by night, and all week long For telling us what's right and wrong Month after month and all year round and round Why not grapes? Why not grapes? Whoa, back up a bit. <laughs> That's a weird idea. Just imagine if... Uh... Why not grapes? Why not grapes? Why not grapes? Apes! Well, we've got to be going. Goodbye. Take care now. See you, Hall Trailer. What a wild idea. The amazing unique ability which only grapes, having turned to raisins have, in capturing information from the world around us. It's a radical notion indeed, and one we perhaps could, would, should figure out how. That's what I mean. Predict the future by employing the process of growing grapes, and then turning them into raisins. Weird, huh? Yup. Having collected information kinetically through photosynthetic transmission, over the growing season and its entire passage of time. Cause and effect, even with something as small as an ant. Changing the entire universe is <laughs> not a perfect science. Oh, oh! Whoa, don't step on the ant! Oh, oh! Swerve to avoid stepping on an ant, change this. And that. Which now?
Good job, Matilda. That affected me. Wow. But you know, Matilda, all living creatures have a reason to live. <laughs> sure is taking a long time getting home from the library, Lammy. Like forever. Hello. <laughs> Speaking of which, how about when we get home, I paint a watercolor portrait of you. Ooh. One beautiful moment, immortalized, frozen in time. Sounds like fun, Lammy. Sounds like fun. The power of ready, readable fruit. Raisins. Who would have thunk? <laughs> the future is ours to see, Matilda. The past is the key to the future. A little light on the subject. Amazing, just one raisin. Could gather that much information throughout the course of life along the vine. Absorb the full surrounding. Combining, compounding. Miraculous, astounding. Grapes capture all of history behind. And from there, dum, 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 amazing just one We could discover exactly what happened during the growth period of the grape, Lammy. And if so, then therefore predict fairly well the continued movement of the universe from that point forward. That's right. From each perspective point combined, that day forward. <laughs> you know, maybe the French had something going on when they invented wine. We, <laughs> we, <Oui, oui>, mister. The soir de ce vin. Ha, You're speaking pure gibberish, Lammy. <laughs> You're absolutely correct, Matilda. <laughs> Can't fool you. But Try this one. Je suis mon de raison de père. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I know, I know. Je suis de raison de révélation profonde. de révéler Cosmos, hello. French toast, French fries, French forget it, Lamy. Les croquettes, les jus de verre. Come on, time to fundraise. Yeah. Well, good afternoon. We were knocking about the neighborhood today, reaching out, asking for support and financial backing from pillars of the community like yourself, trying our best to convince you of the viable investment potential in growing grapes. What do you say? Why would I want to do that? Well, first of all, it's a booming business. Grapes grow good. And secondly, and perhaps most importantly, Mammy Rillerton and I plan on figuring out how to predict the future by reading the wrinkles in raisins. Everyone stands to benefit. That's <laughs> probably the strangest thing I've ever heard. Why would you want to do that? Come on! Think, man! With prophetic foresight! Wait, that burns me up, Matilda! No community support whatsoever! Yeah? Well, good afternoon! We're knocking about the neighborhood today! Reaching out, asking for support! Yeah? Good afternoon! about the neighborhood today, reaching out for support and financial backing until you why you are uh, no, no, better not. I remember what my mom always said once. The past is the key to the future. The past is the key to the future. I wonder, which hybrid species of grape might one grow when trying to cultivate musical tendencies to then dry into potentially ready readable raisins? Hey, okay, kids, music, science, philosophy class, wishful thinking 101, starting from scratch. Back to the drawing blackboard we go. It's a thought that counts. And the big question is, what are you going to do about it? All right, so today's lesson, musical fruit. Which hybrid species of grape might one grow when trying to cultivate musical tendencies? In this case, a grapefruit. Nope. What? Not a grapefruit, so only a grapefruit. Right. As I was saying, which hybrid species of grape shall we grow when trying to cultivate a grapefruit, thank you, to then dry, yes, into potentially ready readable raisins? Well, let's see. And whoever's playing that awful, awful rock and roll music, will you please turn that off now? Grapefruits should never be confused with grapefruits, or any other musical fruit for that matter. Say beans, for example. Teacher! Teacher! No! My dear kid, you're dead. Where's that whole patch, you promised? Quit acting like a flake, you great nut! Let's go home, come on. 
can you just apply the musical science needed for the kids to comprehend what it is I'm trying to say? Now, what if I double up this, if I reinforce that, and I clarify these? You're mighty quiet today, clap! Grapefruit, my eye. That didn't go over very well. Great. Just great. Where was I? The Purple Gang it was a hard lot of guys. So tough they made Capone's playmates look like a kindergarten class. Your name for school, Liam. School? What's that? Hello. Uh, what? A vineyard in foreclosure, just right for the pickings. So soon? Wow. Thank you, sir. <laughs> what a stitch. Honey, got some really good news. I wonder how much sunlight a growing grapevine might need. I wonder what kind of soil a growing grapevine likes. I wonder how much rain it might need. I wonder, will we ever, ever understand the importance of pruning? Pruning? That's the importance, the importance of pruning a grapevine? Two can play at this game, Matilda. I mean, if you're going to start wondering out loud, I'll start wondering out loud, too. How will we ever train the grapes to grow along the trellis line? I mean, you know, within one year from planting them. <laughs> that's, that's funny, Lammy. You got me wondering out loud, too. A vineyard already has grapes on the vine, so I'll bet we don't even have to think about it. Nothing left for us to do except wait. <laughs> nice, but how will we understand the wrinkling, crinkling raisin grain hieroglyphic? Hmm? I mean, you know, once we've dried our grapes and began projecting the future. <laughs> Lammy, you really shouldn't. We need to stop for gas. Gas? Grapes don't run on gas, silly. <laughs> In fact, they probably give gas. Pit yeah. stop. Yeah. Pit stop. Okay. <laughs> Decided, Lammy? Oh, sure, Matilda. I've decided. I've decided I don't care much either way. A grape's a grape no matter what shape. I mean, what difference does it really make? Which kind of grape we grow? As long as it eventually dries up. We're here. We're sowing shapes for the future. They'll be dangling off the line. Our grapes will take on a life of their own. We're grown together and not alone. So what? How is that going to guarantee us success and solve the world's problems? Hmm? Deja vu, man. Didn't we see you down at the public library? That's correct. You did. Let me introduce myself. I am the Cornball Professor. <laughs> wow. I understand you're growing grapes now. What? How's about you check out my lab off campus tonight? Universal interaction is found there, ladies, across its global surface of its camera, over the course of its growing seasons. We mean together as I am one month after month after month after month after month, impregnating the unfolding lines. Ah, oh, that was close. Ah, welcome to my laboratory. So this is your laboratory? Please, look around. right oh, Hasbro. Fuck! Whoa. I shall now begin my hypothetical proof using one select valve. The letter A. Now then, where's my chart? I ask you, at which one point does this, this shape here, actually become the letter A.
Sure, I understand, CP. Like, at what point does an instrument play concert C? Perfect pitch is one thing, but come on! Quarter tone here, quarter tone there. Who's counting? You propose that we translate the sun-worn, ready-readable rays and mean lines through your gizmo, the photosynthesizer, no less. <laughs> I get that particularly in regards to understanding the revelation to the sound of light. Wow! Tree rings, on the other hand, of the grapevine might help in the translation, too. Hmm. You believe if we travel faster, then the speed of light will break the time barrier, allowing the opportunity to move freely about. You think, you think, we'll probably leave the present moment backwards, forward, past, future, within its context versus association. Wow. Moments fold into moments and they drop like flies. Is that what you mean? Because if so, you're making good sense now. Yep, that's a mouthful, Lammy. Maybe we could improvise, you know, playing without thinking ahead into the future. You've got great ideas, Matilda. Maybe we'll reach the music of the inverted spheres. And adjust the sound properly. Good thinking, Cornball. You must be a genius. We'll all try and represent the sound of Raisin Ring. You've inspired us, Cornball. It makes us want to compose a song. Let's jam! Yeah. I love you, Mr. Sorrow. Photogenetic magnosynthetic contraption, the photosynthesizer, and the three blended together in concert, so to speak, to further advance their own take on the raisin effect and its potential prophetic proper tooth procured. We love you, sir. Mr. Photo Synthesizer Yeah.
But when are you going to fix the window, Lammy? I can see fine. You can see fine, I'll but I can't. I'll fix it when I we get can. home. Just let me tune this in. There, leave it. Come on. Hey, now that's good music. What are, what, what are you doing? That was some of the best music I think I've ever heard in my whole entire life. Thank you. That's not music. Th there it is. I'd rather not listen to that now. Fine. See, that's good music. Well, that's your opinion. Let, let, let me tune it in. See, between these two stations, this one is the best, obviously. I no. don't yes. care. No, leave it on the classical. Plants love orchestral music. Sure taking a long time to get out of the vineyard, Lammy. Like forever. Ugh, time. What a joke. We're here. What? <laughs> and shadows covering the orchard in this March through May the spring breeze came and stopped the growing generations all we could is all we've done to save the crops Yeah, oh, I guess that was just a dream. What? Wait a minute, what's th that? Is it a dream come true or what? What? What, <laughs> what are these grapes? Are these grapes? <laughs> Let's get out of here. They even taste good too. Dinner's ready. Can't be bothered, honey. Place full already. <laughs> no. Where was I? Ah, number four across. What did Lanny Rillerson and Matilda Peppermint hang around after the show? <laughs> That's simple. G R A P E and yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, now what else did I have going on? A down. What kind of tea can never compete? Oh, that's simple too. Number one, down. D A R. I hope I can spell this. G E E L I N. Looking promising. <laughs> G. <laughs> Darn healing. Wow. Okay. Back to where we were. <laughs> Shankar Sita on his best day could never med. Oh, good. This is better than we had expected, honey. Why is that? Well, don't you see? This means I'll get more information embedded in between the tracks. With raisins clumped up like this, premature by three months, there'll be an extraordinary amount of information condensed inside the juicy, wrinkly lineage. Fine! Go celebrate, White Ghost. Outdoors, no less. On a Sunday afternoon. When fall colors are at their peak. In graveyard, playing croquet. Oh, that's so French.
It'll be fair you give me 12 shots to catch up. What do you do for a living? Grow grapes. How's that? Eh, blooming business I tell you, but a whole lot of waiting around. Got a truckload out back, drying right now. Drying? Raisins, man. Your turn. Raisins? Wow. Good yield this year? Who cares about the yield? It's not the yield we're after. The future. Always looking ahead. Always. Sun drying grapes and they're developing shapes so sweet the folding lines deep.
More backlighting, please! A little heavy on the foundation, don't you think? Make up! Boom mics join! Yo! Once you've got that limb set up, dolly that thing and pee into the left zone! Good! So there's a whole lot of hoopla going on around town now that you... Well, let me start that again. Cut! Try it again! Yeah. Our special guest this evening is local luminary and king of radical academia, the Cornball Professor. Hello, Cornball. Can you hear me? Absolutely. Good. So there's a whole lot of hoopla going on around town now that you, the Cornball Professor, is behind this new craze. Cornball Professor's on the TV! Like, oh, maybe we ought to invite that him would be over redundant. for dinner tonight! The main principle no! my legacy, I might add. Cool. <sighs> Echoing rhythms of the universe as exemplified by the deepest inner meaning procured. Between the wrinkled, crinkled, sinking lines through the divine drying time of a grape. And that would be the raisin? And cut! Patience is a virtue, but come on, these things are taking forever. <laughs> I don't have the time to take that kind of time. Oh boy, there you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> there they go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Yep. Oh, Corpo's gonna have a field day with these. Potential mm. prophetic properties within its underskin penning. So well pronounced. We can roll the die. Or flip of the coin. It is time. Time to take the time. Yes. Time to read a ready readable raisin. <laughs> the professor then reached for his extracted essence of raisin and applied several concentrated drops onto his tiny bowl of the bleach white sands of time. Ah, uh, but to no avail, and a bit embarrassing at that, to the blackboard he went. You know, I could blab on about Fermat's last theorem, or, or the Fibonacci sequence of quantum entanglement, or, or say the Archimedean spiral, the Goldilocks principle, and the Drake equation. Or your late choice entanglement swapping. Spooky action at a distance? Ah, oh, forget that. It's time! Turn that thing on! Time to hook up the photosynthesizer and predict the future! The Raisinator filter system, perhaps! The drape is a great no matter what shape And the raisins in the loop tray set! Was there a true purpose in such unique matters as these three so clearly believed? Ten, she's freaking up, Lonnie! She's freaking up! And all there would be We could foretell everything as it came Knowing exactly what, who, where and when But what would the point be? 
where be the fun? Every day no win as every day comes Being no surprise, there's no guess in the way Nothing new to us each day after day If only we knew every move we might make Then we would know every step we should take Life would be perfect if only we knew Exactly what each of us thinks we would do But after a while it start getting old Knowing what happens as each day unfolds Being a surprise is no guess in the way Nothing new to us each day after day Who wants to know? And uh, who should I make this out to? The Dean. Ah, I've heard a lot about you. Well, I've seen the light. Cornball was a real trooper. An absolutely brilliant scientist. That he was. That he was. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Next! And who should I make this out to? Chauncey Billinkoo, good friend of Kaz Razumataz. Kaz! <laughs> Tell that boy we gotta get together sometime soon. I got 11 shots left. Right. Thank you. You're very welcome. Next! And who should I make this out to? Your biggest fan. Who? You? Cornball? Where have you been? Let's not go there, Lammy. It's been a long and winding road. Nice to be back in real time, whatever that is. I hear that. <laughs> but boy, are we glad to see you. <laughs> so what's up, man? I thought you were like, I don't know, dead. You know, Lammy, I went parallel. Same universe, but more like the old highway. Then like what? No such thing as past or future? Hey, you remember that small door in back? I came through there shortly after you went in. Hmm? Like a uh, time thing flipped on its axis. And then, well, here we are. And there you go. Why not? It takes time to delay the action to touch up. That is, if indeed you believe in that whole illusion. Sign here. <laughs> <laughs> sign? Forget that, dude. Come on back with us. We're going to co-sign from now on. Yeah. 